It's a ten dollar fee. Oh, ten dollars just to say hi to you. Saying hi to me on camera is highly sought right, after. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you after the show. I promise. <laughs> As your filter, may I suggest you do not take an interview at this time. Danny Havoc, do you want to do legal counsel? Danny Havoc, do you want to do a beer with me? Do a beer? Yeah, do beer with me. I mean, I haven't done beer in a long time, but I suppose. You know. <laughs> yeah, I, can I, love, I love you, dude. I love you. Live in Cylinder, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, you're fucking the asshole. hardcore capital of the world. Oh, I love it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Chancellor of this fine organization, but it, it may come as a surprise to you that I also actually used to be a wrestler. Oh Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! And in fact, and in fact, I took part in the very first show ever to run under the H2O banner about four years ago. Back when it was just a, just a small hope, just a dream, just a litmus test to see, can we do this? And a few years have gone by, and I look around and I would say, we can do this. You can do it! I say that we have done this, because we went from a sparsely populated little gymnasium in Woodbury Heights, to having our own building, Fuck yeah. to having a loyal, devoted, Damn and right. funny yeah. great yeah.
and here is the winner. <laughs> How you feeling? Stitch up good? Peachy King. Take a little swig of the Jack, oh. you be good. Oh. One more? One more Jack Daniel shot? <laughs> 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 Fucking shot. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Get out of my shot, Stomper, you <laughs> dick! Caravan prints up in this bitch. You know where we are. We're at H2O, dude. Listen, welcome to. God damn that light's bright as fuck, dude. What the fuck? I can't see shit. Anyway, listen. Paragon Prince, follow me, Instagram. Well, Paragon Prince. Fuck your stupid uh, yeah. shirt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome to TJ's vlog. You know what it is, boy. H2O. Matt Trevon, Danny Havoc. You just printed these, didn't you? Oh, I just printed that. Yeah. Look at that. That's, that's yeah. something. Yeah. Danny yeah. Havoc's yeah. deathmatch yeah. extravaganza, baby. Why you gotta yeah. fucking kill me? Like that. Fuck. Bright yeah. light. Oh, oh my yeah. Yeah. yeah! Captain Davis yeah. now. That's right. Deathmatch parking lot, baby. We're live as that at the at the H2O well, for our live on Fight TV for Deathmatch Extravaganza number Death two. Deathmatch Wrestling Parking Lot. And it's in here at the bro. parking lot. Parking lot, bro. We are live as in here to bring you the ultra violent at its best here. But the bad news is that Clint McGarry is not in the building. However, Drew Blarday is going to be taking his place in here this. tonight. Along with action, Chuck Payne, along, along with Ben Solomon, Jeff Cannonball, and, and everything else. And so I uh, stay tuned for the complete of uh, the wrap up on Fight TV. Stay tuned for the announcement on the Countess Corner podcast. Thank you, Captain Dave. Yeah. What up, Tyler? My oh, man, we gotta get this line, man. We got a good ass line going, dude. Oh, I know, dude. Kill me. What am I gonna be able to drink? Full time boss, baby. What up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> it's finally fucking time for H2O to be number one. Fight TV live all around the world. Japan, Mexico, Canada, Vietnam, wherever the fuck else you can get streaming TV. Fight TV has hosted many MMA events, boxing events, wrestling events, sporting events, you name it. But tonight, H2O and its platform becomes number one on there as we go live at 8 p.m. Bell time is at 8 p.m. Doors are already open. Pre-show match starts at 7.30. Austin Luke, Gigi Everson, Dylan McKay and Johnny Nova will you be your pre-show match. Four-way H2O Wrestling Academy match. Five-way gauntlet. Raven Havoc, Eddie Only, Jimmy Lloyd, Steve fucking Sanders, and your hybrid champion, Danny fucking Gallagher. Tag team titles will be on the line. Tag team last man standing street fight. Life Louis, Casanova, Casanova Valentine, the kings of the no ring, the kings of Brooklyn go against the tag team champions Jeff Cannonball, Mitch Fallon, the Lone Rangers, Matt Tremont, the bulldozer, the owner of H2O Wrestling, against Cody Rice, Orin Vite, Devin Moore, and your champion Lucky 13, Widows Walk Deathmatch. What else? Yeah. There's more. There's many more. Marcus Crane. Marcus Crane and Connor Claxton. A snowman. What about Tremont and Cody? Tremont and Cody. I said that. Uh, you know what? I think I got them all. If I didn't, you know what? That's fine. But there's only <laughs> one good thing about tonight, and that's one thing. Kit Osborne is nowhere in sight. So guess what, Kit? You will fuck yourself. If you're not watching H2O, if you're not watching on Fight, if you're not here in this venue, you're missing out on one of the best shows you can possibly watch to this day. And what's that show called? Deathmatch Extravaganza 2, presented to you by Danny Havoc and the bulldozer Matt Tremont, two of the best deathmatch wrestlers in the world. Tonight is going to make H2O go fucking viral around the world. November 16th, November 2019. 2019. Is it date to remember? Extravaganza. Yeah!
What's up, Tondo? Just want to get shot in the locker room. All these guys in here. Hi. Louis. All right, sorry, guys. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's a ten dollar fee. Oh, ten dollars just to say hi to you. Say hi to me on camera. Is highly sought after. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you after the show. I promise. <laughs> All right, so I believe the pre-match is about to start at 7.30. Uh, I don't know if it's free on the iPay-Per-View. Probably is before the show starts at 8. But as you saw, everybody already introduced this for me. Louie, Captain Dave, everybody. Uh, again, Matt Tremont, Danny Havocs, Deathmatch Extravaganza 2. For the first time ever live on Fight TV. Yes! We got good. We got bitches over here that want staples in their titties. Extravaganza! What? You gonna take some staples to the titties again outside? Maybe it is my birthday. Oh shit! I better believe tonight. Wait, how old are you? Twenty six, guys. So we gotta put twenty six staples in the titties. I'm fucking <laughs> down. I'm yeah. fucking down. I wouldn't be surprised if she does it. Honestly.
first time a show starts on time, when you're on pay-per-view live, you have to be on time. Live in Cylinder, Iowa. <laughs> 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 you're fucking the asshole. hardcore capital of the world. Oh, I love it. Hey, for real. You know what? Right you know. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. The video is a minute, it's a minute and 45 seconds, Matt. Chase them away. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. H two O, 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 H two O. Chancellor of this fine organization, but it, it may come as a surprise to you that I also actually used to be a wrestler. Oh, Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit. In, fact, in fact, I took part in the very first show ever to run under the H2O banner about four years ago. Back when it was just a, just a small hope, just a dream, just a litmus test to see, can we do this? And a few years have gone by, and I look around and I would say, we can do this. Man. You can do it! I say that we have done this. Because we went from a sparsely populated little gymnasium in Woodbury Heights, to having our own building, Fuck yeah. to having a loyal, devoted, and
That is not going to feel good, I can promise you that. Someone's about to take the wrath of that. Oh, fuck. Who's going to get the evil curse on the Ouija board? No! What's your name, dude? Here, get a light. We gotta get a light. There we go. What's your name? John. John is always out here and he never comes to the damn show. He's always waiting outside. I told him, me and my buddy Andy here, we're gonna pay for his ticket to go inside. He's going in. He's going to fuck in. Let's go. Let's okay. go, John. You're going I'm in. Show ass in there.
hands over here sticking their fingers in the fucking mouse trap. I'm trying to yeah. get you guys. Well, there's no cheese on it. No, stick your dick in there. Oh, I will. <laughs>
Just on this one. Holy fuck, oh, he's about to shove that in his mouth. Setting them? <laughs> 
finger. Wait. Yeah, he's, oh, spinning, man. Yeah, he's spinning the blade. Wait, Louie's got a go your butt crack show. There's the dildo. Alright, where you going? Wait. Ready? Hold on. Oh. Let me get it from above. Hold on. Oh. Like always, it's gimmick. It is. I need a Gusset or fucking pins out. Oh, you Jesus Christ. I don't know why he did too You better heads up with your heads when that shit starts swinging around, dude. Watch, I'll get hit again with something next. Yeah. First of teeth. Fuck you, Potter. Let's go, Marcus. Leave the glasses on. Fuck them up, Marcus. David C. Russell, you don't want to ask me to switch again. I'm killing you, I know. What's he got? Wow, what is that? What is that? Oh, yeah! Did Papa Giorgio get hit on that shit too? Yeah! Referee got hit on that one. Fuck. Oh, we got tunes over here too and shit. Man, we got a lot of shit. A lot of fuck. A lot of fuckery. A lot of fuckery. Say that again. A lot, a lot of, fuck of fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> I think fuckery is my middle name. Hey, oh, I like that. that fuckery is my middle name. Yes. Are we fuckery having? I'll cheers to that one. <laughs> Me too, my Pepsi. Cheers well, to the Pepsi. Pepsi punch. I'll cheers with my butt ice tall boy. Yeah. 25 ounce, they added an extra ounce for their appreciative uh, drinkers. Hey, right, yeah. Oh, Connor's been busted open. Come on, Marcus! Marcus! Yeah! Crown him! And no scared! What the fuck? Oh, there you go. Oh, oh shit! Oh, no! Oh, ah, shit! Classic Sandman. <laughs> Come on, Marcus. Come on, Snowman. Come on, Snowman. Come on, Marcus. Let's go, Snowman. Hardcore. Marcus. Ah, oh, shit.
a beer for me. Oh, hey. Beer. Beer. Oh, we got Everybody's handing you a beer. Oh, well. <laughs> Fireball! Right. Back in the back. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, that's what I'm coaching. Come on, come on. Don't use the coach. Oh! You're just giving him fuel. Now he's going to power up. Let's go, LA. I think I'm right in 30. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Watch your eyes on this one, guys. You might see one get jammed into a head later, so hold on to that. Whose head is going in? I don't know. I bet you Tree Mart will have that jammed in his head tonight at one point. Or Cannibal. Or Cannibal. What about me? It's my motherfucking birthday. You're, you're not doing one in your head. No way. Alright, maybe later we will. Maybe. No. Do it in your titty. It'd be easier. Oh my god! Yeah, that's not set up right. No. Yeah, I know. Oh, and the light tube's on top. Oh. 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 The light tube's will break the fall. <laughs>
shape. <laughs> The short side is the best side, dude. I love this side, dude.
tubes, I'm telling you. Might have touched it, dude. You're going to eat them? I saw my titties. Let's go. Happy fucking birthday. Yo, yo, yo. 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 Mama said, mama, 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 Jump in, let me jump in. Switch. Switch, switch, switch. Yeah, Chuck. And Schlack. And Schlack. Yeah, I love both these guys. A huge bitch! on the side there still. It's hard to find chairs right here when you're standing room only. Jesus, Chuck, Chuck is bloody the fuck up. I like his red hair. His red hair does look good. Use the bulk! The bulk of tubes! Or the door! Big ass fucking door, dude. Hey, Fuck. Yes, I am. Like, you know yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, here we go. Yes! Oh! It's alright, there's still more. Shaq, don't fuck up.
That's just blood. Yeah, me too. Holy that just sprayed on me. That sprayed on me. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hey, Shuo. Hey, Shuo. Hey, Shuo. Hey, Shuo. Hey, Shuo. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that door over here. Victoria pop that what a Boy! <laughs> One drunken night. One drunken night and this is what happens. I love you, I'm like <laughs> Alright, intermission time, baby. <laughs> Alright, so I was ringside, now I'm backstage with Schlack, Chuck. Chuck, I talked to him earlier. He said, you know, when you gotta do a deathmatch and you get called out to do it, you do it, man. And he fucking did it, dude. You guys were awesome in there, dude. Oh, I gotta thank this guy, man. I'm the one that called him out, you know. I came to H2O a little over a year ago. And the whole time I felt like I wasn't proving to everybody that I belonged here. And with this deathmatch extravaganza too, I figured, why the fuck not, right? Call the biggest and the baddest out, prove to everybody that I can hang. Slack, I think I proved it. Cheers, tell, me, tell me if I did wrong. You did fucking great. Uh, now Chuck's got the bug watch. Full blown fucking death man. <laughs> 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 oh, well, see, you start pushing that goddamn chest piece closer and closer and closer and closer. I'll tell you what, though, it wasn't as bad as I thought no, it was no. going to be. And watch you get dumber and dumber. <laughs> That's the only problem. That's the only problem. <laughs> it's never enough. It's never enough. Like, maybe 10 more light tubes. Maybe razor blades. How about we light the razor blades on fire? <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, you progressively get more stupid uh, and more ignorant. And then I you turn into, you know. Slack. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I didn't call the, uh, the moon salt. Multi <laughs> I can eat. Oh, you were going to do a moon salt? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. That whole, that whole ring was just covered by the time we were done, but like I said, man, thank you very much. Yeah, cheers. I really appreciate Good that. Stuff, thank you. Thank Thanks, you. guys. All right, so I'm a little Louie here. 
Oh man. You got kicked in the face, kid. Fucking dick. By the clit. <laughs> you, heard, you heard my dad, bro. Sad. It's over. Have fun with your next fucking job, because you're out of H2O, dude. Fuck out of here, bro. Pain's a glass, baby. Pain's a fucking glass. Pain's a glass. Come fly. seat when you move, right? No, every seat is good here. I don't give a fuck, that <laughs> Come on, Alex! He's got a piece of wood. Come on, H2O, wake the fuck up! Switch. Switch. Just stand up there. I'm telling you, you see it's so much better. Stand up there. Go. I'm good. Do I'm, good. I'm good. No, I don't want to hear you just stand up there. I want to put a, I want to put a GoPro on this place. It's in my bag and I don't want to Velcro it to it. Oh, there you go, Harry. 
Oh my god, it landed right there? Jesus! <laughs> Wrestling! Yeah. Let's go, Drew! Come on, Alex! Fuck that bitch up! Alex! Alex! Both Alex. these guys! Alex! Alex! Alex. Shower doors. That's that glass has seen a lot of nasty things in this time. Mm. Go grandma. <laughs> Go grandma. Grandma got nasty shower doors. Grandma got filled out with those shower doors, man. Behind those shower doors, sorry. Not with the shower doors. See, I should be wearing one of those. Set up here, baby. This paint Come on, Alex. About to be set up. It's right out. Happy motherfucking birthday to me, right in front of my face. Right in my face. Do something I can't see. Yeah, do that, dude. Hit him in his fucking. Ah! Fuck! No! Get away, me! One more time! Alex is 
taking advantage of that that tube hitting, yeah. hitting Drew in the eye. Oh fuck! Here we go. I got you. Front row seat, baby, for a pane of glass. Oh god! Watch his flimsy. Don't let it break. Oh, Jesus Christ! Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. Suddenly not made with a good shot of this. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Watch your eyes. Close them. Drink my beer, I got glass all over my fucking hands. I'm just kidding. Oh! Grandma's toy! Grandma's toy! Ah, it's about to die. Fuck. Ooh! That might be it! One, two, three! Oh! Yeah, Drew! Yeah! You deserve it, baby! It's gonna be a deathmatch wrestler one day here, you watch. Because I love him. He kinda busts his balls. You know he's only like 11. <laughs> Tyler. I just bet uh, three guys behind me that uh, what match we just saw? Drew Blood versus Alice Clinton. I said if Drew Blood won, I guarantee that I would piss my pants on the spot before the show was over. You did not. I did. And then Drew Blood won and they're gonna hold me to it. Oh, so I, later I on told you them I told them as soon as the bell rings during the main event, I'm going to try to escape and get into an Uber. And if they can catch me before I can do it, I'm going to escape and not do it. Well, if you stick around after, after that, you make sure you do it outside on camera. Just That's fish. up to you to find Yeah, you too. know what? Actually, just wait till the show's over out here in front of everybody. No, I'm just you telling fish you your pants in front of all of us. I told them I'm trying to escape, but it's up to you if you can catch it on video. I will. I'm I will. I'm trying to find my backpack too far. All right, so unfortunately, my seat has been taken, but uh, I'm willing to give that up for this. Don't worry about it. My spot was over there, and now there's a fucking scaffold over there. Wait, is 
that Danny Havoc in there beating people up? I thought he was retired. Well, basically, as uh, the show was going great, yes. Fight TV, everything's great, but you know, we didn't, we couldn't avoid the traditional indie wrestling pitfall, which is that somebody screams into the microphone for 10 minutes. Listen, I'm sure what you're saying is awesome. We can't hear you. They never Nobody can that. hear you. Uh, look, PA, my fuck you, Mark. just can't understand what you're saying. And even the people watching live, when are they going to learn to feed the live mic into the I, goddamn uh, source? Can, please cut this out, but I hope to dear God that that wasn't on Fight TV. <laughs> By the way, I was sitting, I had a chair over there and everything, and they took my spot. The fuck am I supposed to do now? Uh, it's deteriorating rapidly. That's I wish I could be up top there and watch this match from there. But it's not going to happen. Okay, guys, no, I'm about to go up there and watch it up there. Cool, let's go. My girl's really short. She really I'm going to do it. Here. I am going to do it. <laughs> sitting over there and now I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Come 
Come on, Dave! 
motherfucker, they don't see him. They don't see him. Orin doesn't see him. Ooh. Yeah, Lucky. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. By the way, that's the of Valentine. <laughs> Thank you for whatever that spot was when it broke off that weapon that some fucking fan made doesn't know how to make and it broke off the razor board. Was that you that swung and it hit me in the fucking head? Did you get hit in my head? Oh, I got fucked up, dude! My man. <laughs> that shit was awesome! <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! I got yeah. fucking down with a razor board, I don't know, dude! But sounds about right. It was awesome, dude. But that fan, you gotta learn how to build your weapons, guys. Come on, man! I don't build them, I swing them. I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, I'm like this. I'm like, everybody cover your eyes! And then this fucking board with razors flies out and hits me in the fucking head. I mean, it's here, honestly. Oh, you're definitely taking a. You're definitely taking. What are you gonna take in the titties? This sharp circle. Show me what it is. Show me the sharp. She calls it a sharp circle. Oh, it's so cool. What are they called? Kenzen? Kenzen. Kenzen! Show it up in the lens. Show the needles. Show it sideways. Sideways so you can see the needle. Yeah, there you go. She's gonna take them in the titties later! You're welcome! Backstage and ringside at H2O. Matt Tremont, Danny Heavy, Dead Magic Extravaganza number two. Oh, it's your birthday, that's right. It's my birthday. Birthday titties! If I don't bleed tonight, my birthday was... Well, how old are you again? Wait, what is it? Happy birthday. So there's at least 26 little needles in there, so you'll be good. I can. No, we're going to blast some titties. On the down low, on the down all right, so it's now main event time. The bulldozer, Matt Tremont. There's Cody Rice. And Matt, I may have to call you out on this, man. These got hit earlier during a match, and these flew everywhere. A lot of fans have these. So I might pass this to you during the match. And maybe we can end this Fight TV pay-per-view with you removing that from your head or Cody removing it from his head. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But hey, let's try. Let's give it a fucking try, right? You know Ethan? Ethan, yeah, yeah. Is he here? Yeah, he's here. Where's he at? What's he was over under the scaffold the last time I saw him. Slack's looking for Ethan. Ethan is like the ultimate oh, yeah. deathmatch fan. He collects everything. He collects everything. Oh, hey, hey. Bro. Hey. What is that? It's, um... My t my maxi pad. Your maxi pad? For my, that sounds like a horrible time. For my pussy. That sounds great, man. I don't know how that's going to feel. No, it's the new hairstyle. Yo, you should start mixing these in your hair, dude. No, you, like, definitely put not. Put them in there, dude. Oh, that'd be beautiful, right? I'm definitely not going to put that in my hair. What? Hold on. Come here. No, come here. Check out this ass. Please put this on your What? What, what an ass? Look at this. Show me. Yo, oh, my God. Ass. Yo, that is a... Like, I can't even deal with my life right now. <laughs> Yo, that is a beautiful it's, fucking ass. Jesus <laughs> I Christ! Can't deal with that, right? You're Yo, welcome. who is hitting that? You're Patrick. <laughs> You're fucking welcome. <laughs>
Oh, Wait, Patrick, you're hitting that? <laughs> Don't mention my legal name! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> uh, subscribe to my only Come account. here, tell him, tell him, where you're Alexa What is it? Instagram, Alexa Vogue. Who got the weed? <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, what is it? Alexa Vogue. Alexa Vogue. Alexa V O U. I, I, I can't spell it. Whatever, what follow that ass on Alexa Instagram. Alexa Vogue. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> you're welcome, TJ. Deathmatch Wrestling Parking Lot. <laughs> Parking lot, well, outside Deathmatch Wrestling Parking Lot HO, she might have you beat with the ass. And she's right behind you. <laughs> Wait, can we get a comparison? Can I do a comparison here? Come on. I'm ask her. I'm not Come on! It's obvious. Wait, no, you. Look, look what's over there. What's over there, Dana? What, what is that? Now, see, I don't know. You have some competition here. Now you're just doing a whole butt episode. Yes, this, this is, is a whole butt episode. episode. It's like, a whole butt episode. on me, which would be really bad. I've already been hitting the head with a board with razors on it. I don't need anything else. I've had a bad day, isn't it? <laughs> My luck is shit. These things suck, by the way. Carpet strips are brutal. Ugh.
Maybe tonight will be the last nice one. I'm 
on acid. No! Stop it! You look like a butterfly. I feel like I'm on acid too. With okay. ginger nipples on your face. Whoa. Yeah, they're right here. Too personal. I'm really not on acid. I don't do drugs. <laughs> Pussy. Oh man, that hurts. fucking pussy. I know. Don't let TJ lie to you. Yes, he does. I don't though. I just do. I do death match. Is this an extravaganza or what? Yeah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We are here. Matt's gonna go up to the top. Matt is going to the top here. Fuck.
Cody. I know, he'll do it too. Watch. Oh. Tradition, man. Tradition. Let's make the first H2O paper to be a tradition with the game. It is.
2016. Your support. We strive, thrive, and survive because of you guys. Thank you for packing this motherfucker tonight. Thank you, Cody. Thank you. Thank you, Cody. And for you that watch at home on Fight TV, you just got a taste of what the hardcore hustle organization is all about. Luscious, luscious. Wait, when you go in the bedroom with your lady, does she pull your hair? I am <laughs> totally fucking submissive. Like, <laughs> I, I love being knocked around. Sorry, I love being knocked around all that. Yeah. Yo, Chando, I'm gonna let Chando in. Yo, Chando is a freaky bitch. <laughs> I've done some things I'm not proud of, and some things I am proud of, but I'll tell you otherwise. Like, Chando, I fucking love you, buddy. I love you, man. <laughs> Hi, TJ. I'm 
I'm just wandering. I'm gonna go back here. And well, all I can say is everybody's kind of in pain, but no one's seriously injured. That's and good. Good. That's success. the true mark of a good deathmatch show. Good successful show. Good successful show. Everybody's okay. I know. I don't want to say. Does anybody know where my shirt? Went? Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? Jerk off? <laughs> Cock sucking motherfucker. I heard he jerks off because he's got a cunt for a so wife. So Mr. DJ Hyde, not the number one promoter. As your filter, may I suggest you do not take an interview at this time. She keep talking about the DJ Hyde, just fuck her, people like, oh God. Danny Havoc, do you want to do... That's legal counsel. Danny Havoc, do you want to do a beer with me? Do a beer? Yeah, do beer with me. I mean, I haven't done beer in a long time, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, love, I love you, dude. I love you. Let's give you a bus balls. Let's have a beer as it is. That was, uh, that was on the floor. I marked out for it. And your magic jacket. I just could not find anything to match you. Larry Legend. So good. Yo, you missed it. We were out there doing a booty competition with the women out there. We had women competing with their booties, dude. I have it all on video. It's amazing, dude. I should have been there. Dude, it was amazing. Was it as amazing as amazing? the time that Stalfour almost took a shit in the middle of the street. <laughs> Was it power bomb shit, bro? What the fuck, bro? TJ, you went, you went to a whole new level. On I did. I just filmed it. Like, yeah, well, I mean, you know. Well, you know what? That's why it's not on there. I had to take it down. Oh, shit. No, no. What crap, you filmed it. Stalfour took a shit in the road during the back of wrestling GCW show, and I had to take it down because he was pooping all over, dude. It was horrible. Was he a cat? Basically, he's a pussy. <laughs> Get out, get out here, Stalfer. Cody. By the way, you and Matt Tremont killed in there, dude. Fuck, that was my first time with Maddie. Uh, that was your first time against him? Never worked with him before. Uh, to come into his house on his show, his first pay per view, and, and for him to ask me to be his opponent was a huge honor. And, for a while, it was a huge burden on me to hope I could deliver, so I hope we did tonight, because that, uh, that was a lot of fun. You beyond delivered. Thank you. You beyond delivered. Thank you. That was a lot. Cody, I hope to see you in eight shows as much as possible, man. Absolutely. Thank you, bro. Thank you. And you. What's up? By the way. Yeah. Get out of my way! Get the fuck out of my way! Yeah, like, standing there, just shoved me into the wall. I'm like, Jesus. People, people don't listen. listen. I know. People don't listen. listen. Don't get in his way. How about you guys get the fuck out of my way before I... Right. Yeah, you fuck shit up, fuck no. shit up, bro. So I used to have a supervisor at an old job where, let's say we tell him, yo, um, the thing, the cart can't move. What do you mean it doesn't move? Get out of my way. Here I go. <laughs> so wait, was that what your influence for tonight? Like Probably, because I used to be at work, and then without me and a buddy would just be like, get out of my way. And then he would just... <laughs> Your old supervisor was Vince McMahon? No, but we're convinced. You're fired! We're convinced that he was a bartender at night. So we're convinced he probably did some kind of like cocaine because his eyes were bloodshot. He was moving side to side all the time. Doing that snow, man. Yeah. I'm not a pirate! Get out of my way! <laughs> yeah. He moved down to South Carolina, so I don't see him anymore. Well, Mitch, I love you to death, and you did good in there tonight. Thank that you, was thank you. As long as the crowd was happy with it, I have my belt. That's all that matters. Exactly. And they were excited. They like seeing blood. I guess that some people get excited when they're on their period, right? Yeah, man. Definitely. Yeah. What are you going to do to Kit when you see him? I don't want to touch Kit. I don't know what kind of stuff he's infected with. <laughs> All right, so I am backstage at ringside, and I'm going to tap this bloody-ass man over here on his shoulder, and he's going to hate me for it. Hey. I hate you. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What do you want, you son of a bitch? I want to know how good it feels to be for the first time ever to have H2O come from literally just a small little company to going live on paper. Pretty damn good. Right? And we did it. You did. You did fucking awesome, dude. We've been talking about this for a while. We did it. It was done. But everything went well. 
Thanks for watching. So when can we expect the next live performance from H2O on Fight TV? Subterranean violence. We get subterranean violence, please. Please, please, please put subterranean violence on Fight TV, please. Let me let me see what the uh, how the pay-per-view buys it and all that. And I think from I think you're gonna be very surprised how well it did, man. I was talking with them already. I think you're gonna be just real. Bag making that money. Oh wait, so that mean you're gonna take your clothes off? <laughs> but you take your you take your clothes off without getting free. Though. Yeah, so yeah. Now that I have money, no. <laughs> And I was like, that makes me out. Okay. Jeff, I fucking love you, buddy. I love you. I love everything about this company and all I'm not a prostitute. Hi, yeah. so like, yeah. 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 charge. What the problem is? What's the problem? Is? Ball head ho. Ball head ho. Oh, I got Cody. He's, he's, a fuck he's, he's better looking than I am right now. Don't say. Don't you doubt yourself. <laughs> I love you. Congratulations, to all you guys. Thank you guys. Are and uh, when can we expect those little uh, cannonballs? Wait, dang. We get away. She's pregnant right now. I am no. not. I am not. I am not. She's not. She's not. She's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you need to work harder, boy. She, she needs to start pumping. <laughs> it's mine. That's his joke. Oh, it's it's that's gonna be. That's gonna be a gimmick. She's not gonna wrestle, but she's gonna come in like it's not yours, like the whole Ravens. Oh, yes. <laughs> I hope. Mitch. I hate all yeah. of you. Yeah. I hate all of you. I fucking you. love you. I'm sorry. No, I hate all of you. Everybody's gonna see this now. <laughs> you can oh, have little baby. <laughs> You can have him. You two are married now. I am married. We're, we're married? <laughs> yes. Most of the time. Yes, we break the glass. <laughs> uh, but now it also is. We love you guys. Thank you. All right, I'm with Jimmy Lloyd and Kid Osborne, right, right. and they's about to fight each other back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's go. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you said something I like, and I responded, and then, and then you said that you didn't like what I said, or something. DJ always trying to get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck him up, dude. Look, look. What happened the last time you did? Wait, look, look. look I saved this for you guys. Look, here you go. Fucking champ that in his head, dude. Fuck him up. Let's go! Fuck him up! You know what? No, TJ is fucking cool. Why don't we just, you know... No, alright, I'm sorry. Right, okay, I'm sorry. Time to fucking no, 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 no! <laughs> She, she's giving them away. They're trying to make. They're trying to make babies, though. Wait, would you let Marcus be the Godfather? Yeah. 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 Marcus should be the Godfather of Tyre and Cannibal's baby. What? I am not pregnant. Can I be? Well, when you are pregnant, you're getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> you said you guys are gonna have babies. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll cut this out. Interspecies wrestling. And Louis Space. Hold on, one second. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck him up. up. He's just a kid. He's just a kid. Give me a look. Look at me. There we go. Did you take the Fucking H2O and TJ and friends. <laughs> hey, show is awesome. My boy Tyler uh, here. Thank you so much for getting me here to the show. But now we're going to go back to my place with some friends. Tyler can't, party. Yeah. can't join us, but uh, I thought we were kayfabing him. We're going to jam some Ken's eyes into some titties. Yeah. You ready for that shit? Watch TJ and friends. It's a good time. <laughs> All right, dude. I see you, know what I'm saying, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, oh no. wait. See, she wants to get inside the titty, though. She doesn't do want it in the head. Are we doing this? Yes, we are. Let's oh, go. Want, I, did, I didn't make money. Titty your head. Titty your head. Titty your head. Titty your head. No, are you sure? <laughs> Don't go too hard. Come on. Three hits. One, two, three. One, oh. two, three. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do it again, it didn't go oh, in. Oh, stick. It ain't gonna it's fucking her tits. Yes, it will if you do yeah, it. Yeah, it will. You can do it. Blow it up. 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 Blow
Oh, perfectly safe. Let me get the fire. Perfectly safe. Oh, God damn. Oh, Tents up steel. 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 He wants it in the ass. Wait, he wants it in the ass. Wait, he wants it in the ass. bring me a gusset plate. Here it is right there. Wait. Oh, great. Wait, we you know what? Wait, hold on. I just happened to have one in my pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not a gusset plate. Well, it's a Ken's eyes. It's even better. Fuck, it's all bent. Fuck it. I don't think this one might not go in. Wait, who's going to take it to the ass? Yeah, take it to the ass. Jesus S. Jesus S. You ready, Jeremy? Uh, wait, what's Jeremy. going on? Smell <laughs> Wait. Is it? Ah, no, you got to get in the stick. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, you got to lay face down on the ground. You got to lay face down on the ground. And I'm, like, I'm not. Come on now. I, I'm, come on. You got to be bottom. You got to be bottom. Look at them. They're both wanting it. She's They're so both wanting it. Yo, if you get I both, know what I'm about right. to do. this is I'm wild, right. dude. A double one. If you can get both the stick, that'd be amazing. If you can get one stick, I'll be happy. What the oh. fuck? <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> 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 They just don't work unless they're in the forehead. I can't do anything else. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody get to wait. Everybody get together and take a nice picture together. Family photo. We are the first ones who tried to jam two. Size of the fucking ass. That Thank you. That was hilarious. Happy birthday to me. Part of our. Yeah. So it's like, okay, <laughs> 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 well, I'm I'm X amount of money left over. Wait, where do these things go? Wait, give me that thing back. I want this. I'm going to keep this. Come on, DJ. No, I can't do it. Maybe back at the house we'll do it there. I'll get it in the stick, I promise. I want to see the video. No, we'll wait, 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 wait. No, we'll wait. No, we'll wait till we go back. We'll do it there. I want to see the video of that or I will not believe it. <laughs> All right, all right. So you guys are next up. We'll get in the, the Ken's eye jammed in the asses. Don't die. Tuck up a log. Tuck up a log. Tuck up a log. You nasty. You ever tuck up a log? A log is good stuff. Yeah, tuck up a Tommy. It's more barbed wire. What you talking about? A cool. So, we're here with Elmo. Elmo wants to find Mickey. Where's Mickey at? Mickey, Elmo Elmo and Captain Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look. Now. Oh, boy, Elmo. Oh, I'm freaking oh, oh, away with this. Mickey, Mickey represent everybody out here. Like, like, Fuck I, your Nazi background, like, Elmo. Oh, 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 this is oh, oh. <coughs> Elmo, Elmo represents Sesame Street. We kill all you motherfuckers out here in the Deathmatch community. Krieger, stop you. This is Kermit the Frog reporting live for Sesame Street. Kermit, Up, Kermit, Kermit D. D. Frog. Kermit D. Frog. Yo, do you remember that first time as a kid you saw Kermit ride a bicycle? Yeah. Yo, that shit was horrifying, dude. It was like, it was like, <laughs> like in his picture there. Blood. <laughs> I, I, I got it. Right. Bloody. No, no, no. no. I just wanted to say, I really love H2O. It's got a really nice death match. I need more Bob Y in my life. Maybe some more gossip plates. Like, Bob Y. Have you seen the light tubes? They're frightening. Oh, oh, why? Mickey, Mickey. Wait, you get a load of me. Mickey no. is about to unfreeze Walt Disney and bring it back, no. bitches. No one we had Disney. Fuck back. Disney Plus. No Germany. 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 Germany crickets. <laughs> Germany, Germany crickets. <laughs> this is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I want to tell you that H2O has a special message for all the fans that are still in the building. Please get the fuck out. We're trying to clean up. Get out of the building now. Run! <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to... Listen here, brother! <laughs> right, well, let me tell you something. Me, Jade Okerlin. Yeah. Mm, no macho man. He knew them. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, no. Elmo's back, bitches! I don't like any of you! I don't want to be here! Get in here for the cartoon. I'm tired! Elmo! Elmo sleeping! Elmo! Elmo! Last time I was here, it was a gusset plate. Elmo on 122 Sesame Street loves it when bitches get Ken's eyes in their titties. Yeah, Elmo! Elmo represent! Got you, Elmo! Yeah, Elmo wakes up every day and entertains kids that are fucking... Kids are assholes. Fucking assholes. All you kids are assholes. Are you doing Elmo right now? Yeah, yeah, I am so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time we did Elmo, we were Joey. Joey did it. Oh my god, I'm on TJ's. Yeah, yeah, you get it. 
Elmo. 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 Elmo.
Do you know Chuck, the wrestler that works? Yes, I fucking Chuck know. is my boy. He was all bloodied up tonight. I know he was in a fight. I you filmed him. Okay. Yeah, and he he he. He's in a He was using knees in his body. Yeah. Right. Hey, you have Chuck, a good night. I'm gonna show this to Chuck. Okay. Tell him who you, you know. I mean, he knows who you are. I'm but. Kelly. Uber driver just dropped me off. Lyft driver. I'm here. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Hey, sorry, David C. Russell. This is my phone back. I got poop. I'm home now. Oh, Jesus Christmas Christ. Oh, it smells. It smells. All right, H2O wrestling viewers, if you're still watching this all the way to the end, I just want to say thank you for watching it all the way through. Um, as you don't have to listen to my drunk ass, I don't expect you to, but uh, thank you for watching this. And thank you for those that uh, purchased the show tonight on Fight TV and those that buy the DVD, Blu-ray, and digital download from Smart Work Video. Matt Tremont and Danny Havoc's Deathmatch Extravaganza was fucking awesome, dude. And it was everything I expected it to be. And this company, like like Danny brought up, Matt, it was like the little engine that could, you know what I mean? Like, this shit was fucking badass as fuck to see them succeed tonight, man. And it was an honor to have that little video I put together of all my camera angles and me just shooting ringside and putting together for like a two minute video. So when Matt was there, I was like, I think it's like two minutes ago. And he's like, I was like, it's a minute and 45 or so. <laughs> he asked me about like less than a week before it came out. I can make this more badass, man. I think it stood out pretty good. It got the point across of how hard this company goes when it comes to deathmatch wrestling. But they don't only just do deathmatch wrestling. They do it all. Regular wrestling, like, and the storylines that are coming in. Uh, up to you, dude. I'm telling you, it's going to be one of the best companies to ever be around to this day. And for me to have the honor to film them, and GCW throughout the years as they become beyond successful it's honestly like kind of crazy that I was able to capture both of them because they literally are the two biggest independent wrestling companies out there today that from my point of view I don't give a fuck about you know Ring of Honor and all that shit it's fine you guys do your thing you can do all the whole regular wrestling man but the pay-per-view sales are going to tell it man GCW's Backyard Wrestling Show was the big one of the biggest ones ever man and I can tell you right now that it made like a lot of fucking money, dude. And I'm telling you right now, as Matt Tremont continues to do H2O, it's going to blow the fuck up, dude. Beyond our fucking recognition. And I'm so thankful to be a part of it and just... Not even be a part of it, just be a fan. Like, I don't give a shit if it, like, they even let me use the video, dude. Just to be a fan and be the ringside. It's a straight-up party, a social event, dude. And you all need to get there, dude. And the one thing that bums me out is friends of mine. And I think I said this before in a previous vlog of GCW. It's like... All of a sudden, you're all about like AEW, AEW, AEW. Like, motherfucker, I've been trying to get you to come to GCW for fucking ever, dude. NH2O. And now all of a sudden, because they're on TV, you want to fucking watch them? The oh, fuck. The fuck, dude. You're the problem with the fucking wrestling. You can fucking go out and support those guys, man. The fuck, dude. I remember watching that shit when I was a kid, ECW, dude. 
And then we saw Vince dick suck everything and take everything away from them, man. And then WWE, I mean, WWE had the, the billion dollar background, but like, ACW, dude. Like, I'm gonna go on forever. I don't know. My camera's about to die. I'm gonna have to switch my battery because I got a lot of shit I gotta say, dude. Thank you to the, the, the couple that was out there outside of uh, Landmark that actually paid for my Uber ride because my phone died and I couldn't find an old Android charger. So thank you so much. And I had to be Ahmad when I went to the car. I was like, my name's Ahmad. My driver was named as Thomas and he was awesome as shit. But uh, I'm gonna change my battery quick and I'm gonna come right back to you. So hold on. All right, I'm back, okay. Besides all that, the show is fucking awesome, but I wanna get into the whole thing about politics, which I fucking can't say and talking about. I'm just gonna get into it short and simple. The economy is shit. It's not only in New Jersey, it's world fucking wide. The United States of America more than fucking ever. And it showed tonight when I had to hang out with one of my friends and he literally, this man did everything. He went to school, went to college, grad school, everything. And you know what? His whole study that he went and busted his ass for, it's useless now. So grad school and that shit did not pay off for him. I'm not gonna mention his name or his study, but you know who you are, buddy, and I love you to death, man. And you need a little bit of money tonight, I hooked him up, and I love you to death. That's some bullshit, though. This man should never have to go through that shit, man. He's one of the most intelligent people you'll ever meet in your life, dude. And now he's got to do a whole new profession. He's actually about to go back to school again. I'm 37. He's the same age as me. He's got to go back again, dude. What the fuck is that shit? You know, what the fuck, man? You should be, if you're a hard worker, that's what it comes down to. Like, like I know I, when I need to, I'm a very hard worker. I love working. My job is now to take care of my kids, and I get the honor to shoot deathmatch wrestling. I don't get paid for that shit. I do it because I fucking love the business, dude. And everybody knows that. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't love to do this for real in the long run, but I just love it. It's such a good-ass time, man. And for him to be there with me, too, tonight, he saw it, too. And he was my man. I love you. We grew up together, and I promise I wouldn't tell his name. But anyway, man, H2O fucking wrestling in the state of New Jersey. By the way, any other wrestling companies that are trying to do their thing, stay in New Jersey. Because if you're going to go outside of here, it ain't going to work for you. It's going to be really hard because we got the state athletic commission that sucks dick. Sack. Got some friends that want to run a company out in Philly. I told them now, they need to be out here in Jersey, dude. As much as they want to stick around in Philly with their dedicated audience, you need to stay in Jersey. You got to go to Jersey. Because Sack will come out there and fuck you over, dude. And I remember a long time ago, I was telling fans tonight, or friends, we went through the same thing. We were like, yo, remember that time when uh, CZW had a whole thing when uh, light tubes weren't allowed to be used? I was like, yeah, I stopped watching, watching wrestling for years because I thought it was done. And it was still going on. They still figured out a way to do it. Um, I'm rambling the fuck on, but uh, I don't know. Tonight was fucking awesome. Chuck, I was looking for you outside your bar, and all the people I met and talked to at your bar had nothing but good things to say about you. I just want to say thank you for getting me into the bar, even though I didn't even see it tonight. I looked everywhere for you. I was like, yo, did you see some blonde guy with bloody ass hair? They're like, yeah, Thor. We know Thor. We work with Thor. <laughs> I was like, what? Thor? <laughs> it's fucking awesome, dude. For you and Schlack to go in there, dude, and honestly, as I watch you in there with Schlack, Chuck, you are like, yo, you big as fuck, dude. And you know what the crazy part is? Like, wrestling, the bigger companies look for guys your size. You will probably end up being in AEW or maybe even WWF if you want to. WWE, sorry, WWE. Or wherever. You are that big. You are fucking huge. This man, you look at him like, I'm tall. I'm like six, almost six two. He's six six or so. I'm like, hey, Joe, what's up, man? <laughs> and he was like nervous. I talked to him outside. And he was like, he's like, I just, I'm thankful to be able to be here and, and do all this. He's like, I've never done deathmatch wrestling and I wish I shot that. Thank you, Chuck. You killed it. Slack, thank you for giving me the finger and all that shit. And just, I love all you guys, man. And I'm going to keep rambling on. But I want to go back into the whole bullshit about the economy and how bad it is, dude. It is literally going into the year 2020. Now, I can guarantee you that anybody that is a professional wrestling fan, I mean, I, I mean, I should hope I'm wrong. I'm, maybe some of you out there are making six figures a year, I don't know. But even six figures a year with two kids is like barely getting you by. I mean, it'll get you by, but it's not. Like, it, this, oh, there's gotta come down to a balance here. What the fuck is going on, man? When are we all gonna rise the fuck up and just 
say no more, no more. Not going to work anymore. Not doing this, not doing that. We have a home. Stay in my home. We don't need power, heat, growing crops, all that bullshit. I know I'm rambling on. It sounds stupid, but like I'm serious, man. It's come down today. It's some bullshit, dude. When I saw my boy tell me how hard he worked and he was like depressed and crying, he though he lost everything. He went to school. He used to, he was the guy who used to make fun of me. And I was like, TJ, you remember you dropped out of high school? I was like, yeah, I did. Yeah. And he's like, you know what? I should have did the same fucking thing because it's a lot good it did me, dude. Kid did everything he was supposed to do, and it got him fucking nowhere today, man. And now he's got a child of his own, two two children of his own, actually. And I don't know. I don't want to go into that too much, but fuck all that bullshit. Um, we got to figure some shit out here, man. World, money, 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 money. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm gonna crack this fucking Dale's pill ale that I bought a case of. $20 a deal, but I just want to say I'm so proud of H2O tonight. Uh, Matt Tremont, I honestly, if, if you were right here next to me, I'd be celebrating with you, dude. You're a fucking man, dude. You, you did everything you, you said you were going to do. You did deathmatch wrestling, and you, now you're in your own company, and it's beyond successful. Just like Brett Lauderdale said he was going to do with GCW. And you know what? It's going to blow the fuck up. I'm telling you right now. If not tonight, even if they don't even have a thousand buys tonight, you don't know that. I guarantee in the long run, like GCW had their first pay-per-view shows. They weren't that big. Then they got bigger. And the Backyard Wrestling Show came around. That's what blows my mind. I'm going to tell you straight up. Backyard, GCW's Backyard Wrestling Show was their biggest pay-per-view ever, dude. So that speaks volumes of what people fucking want. They want to see the underground shit. They want to see fucking violence. They want to see blood. So when I put that video together tonight, it was all death mad shit. And people were like, oh damn, it wasn't like anything wrestling wise. But it was Danny ha or Matt Tremont and Danny Havoc's death match to start against. I ain't putting fucking regular wrestling. I'm putting all this fucking crazy ass shit spots in there, dude. And I wanted to make it even better, but I did the best I could. And I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this fucking pay-per-view tonight. Because wait till you see Subterranean Violence. Matt said he's only going to do so many pay-per-views a year. But I guarantee you it's going to end up being a regular thing. But I think he's on the right track. Every other month, bigger shows. Like, I'm pretty sure Subterranean Violence in January will be on Fight TV. And it's going to kill it, dude. I've been to all of them except for was it the, the third one. Unfortunately... My house burnt down. It was a hard time for me. I actually came there with my friend Tyler. They drove me there. And I had so much anxiety and all this crazy crap. My heart was all fucked up. And I literally laid in the car and my cousins had to pick me up. I couldn't even go into the building. I was there though, but I didn't make it inside. And I will always 100% support all these guys. And Matt, Lord, even Loudy with OPW, dude. You guys, Loudy, get on, get on fight, dude. Even DJ. DJ, you know what? You fucked up at your company, but man, I'll support you if you get on fight, dude. I'll come out there and check you out. But I'm sure you're biting your tongue and fucking going, what the fuck did I do wrong? Because you could have been right there, dude. And even Zandig. Zandig, Zandig, you're the fucking man, dude. Zandig. John, we fucking love you to death, man. But John John knew what, knew what it was about, man. John's out there doing this thing with his family. But you know what? I'm pretty sure John would love to go back and take over CZW. And I would love to see John Zandig just start another whole company. But if not, it's all good. We got plenty of companies. It's oversaturated as it is. And I'm just rambling the fuck on. So I'm just going to drink this beer and thank uh, Maad and the fucking Tomas. Thomas, my name's Thomas. The guy that drove me here, Uber Ride. Just cheers you all and just enjoy life to the fullest, man. Like I always say, and, uh, remember, well, like I always say, stop judging, start loving, accept others for who they are, and just be your fucking self. Meow. Can I go meow? Wait, let's go meow. Look, here's meow. This is what I distract my son with every morning, and he loves it. It's get that meow. Hello, everybody. Go fuck yourself. Fuck the economy. Fuck everything. I don't know. I don't know. Cat that poopy. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, you know, I'm gonna watch this video. Now. I wanna go back and see me doing an Elmo voice and uh, Mickey Mouse. I was fucked up, and I'm still fucked up, and it's only two. And where the fuck did you go, David C. Russell? Chrissy, you guys left me there, man. <laughs> fuck. I love you guys, man. But we still gotta put that, uh, wait, where's that fucking? Oh, here we go. 
Chrissy said she was gonna put this in her titty. She tried to, she put it in her butt, in her butt, like, pfft. oh! Like, can I, oh, I'm trying to like hold it. Yeah, it's not working. All right, y'all, y'all take care. Bye bye, get fucked. Get fucked. Bye bye, ignorant fuck face.